Yo guys, Rethink Solutions here. I just wanted to go over the best Streamlab settings for streaming as well as recording. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So let's go ahead and click on the bottom left gear here. It's going to bring you to settings. Let's go ahead and click on it. So let's start with general. So first thing we're going to go ahead and do, you're going to go ahead and tick this disable hardware acceleration box. And let's go ahead and click on restart Streamlabs. You can click close after it says this. And if you guys want to record only, you can go ahead and click this and it'll disable the live stream features. But uh, if you want to stream, you can go ahead and just keep this off. We're going to leave everything else the same here. Let's go ahead and go over to output. So as you can see here, let's start with the streaming. Uh, if you guys have a NVIDIA card, go ahead and just send it to the new NVIDIA NVENC. If uh, AMD has one separately, go ahead and just click on the one that says new for that as well. Uh, if not, you can just use the X264 if you don't have the NVIDIA NVENC. So let's go ahead and set it to the new one. Keep this on CBR. Uh, Bitrate, if you have a decent PC, you can keep this at around 6000. That's about 1080p. Uh, preset, it's, it'll probably be on max quality or quality off start, but you can go ahead and change it to performance. It'll still look quite decent as well as uh, give you this, the bit of a performance increase as well. You can uh, keep profile on high and keep this on as well. Let's go ahead and head over to recording. So you can go ahead and change the recording path. I like to keep mine here. You guys can separate audio tracks if you'd like as well. Recording, we're going to be using the new NVIDIA NVENC. We're going to be using the 2641. So we're going to go ahead and keep right control on CBR. Bitrate, same thing here, about 6,000. If you have a better PC, Super Beast PC, you can do like 7,000, 8,000 even. Preset, you can leave this on quality, or you can turn it to performance for a bit of an increase as well. Keep this on high, and yeah, you can keep this ticked as well. Now let's go ahead and click on Replay Buffer. Enable Replay Buffer. Uh, you can make it about a minute or however long you'd like it. This is going to be to clip your games. So if you guys want to start doing clips and not just straight recordings, this is how you do it. Now you guys can head over to video here. So this is going to be a base canvas resolution. I have a 1080p monitor, so I'm going to keep this here. Now the output scale resolution is something you can change to lower the quality a little bit, and it'll give you a nice performance increase. So you can go ahead and change it to 864 if you'd want, or even 720p or 810, whatever your computer meets pretty much. So uh, you, I like to keep mine on 864, and it uh, just gives a nice boost. Downscale filter, let's go ahead and change this to Lanskos, common FPS values, and 60. Now if you guys want to set a clip key bind, you go ahead and go to hotkeys, go down, and save replay. I like to keep mine on shift Y, and here you can just type in any key, and it'll go ahead and change to the key bind. So alrighty guys. From there, you can change the process priority to above normal. This will make sure your OBS doesn't crash and make sure your OBS is consistent and make sure that your recording comes out nice and smooth, as well as your stream. So you guys can go ahead and just click done here. And from there, you should be all good. So alrighty guys, that is the best OBS Streamlabs settings. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.